Hi, we're going to talk more specifically about the United States today. And what I'd like to do is, uh, I'm going to go to the United States map in a minute, but I want to position it uh, over here for a second on the world map. Uh, you know where it is. It's right here in North America, Florida down here in the southeast corner of it. And as you probably know, there are only 48 of our 50 states are together here, contiguous, to, stuck together. The last two are the two we most recently added. We added those about 60 years ago. In fact, I, I was about your age when we added them. We added Alaska as our 49th state. It's way up here off Northwest Canada. And then we added the Hawaiian Islands as our 50th state down here in the Pacific Ocean. Alaska, uh, our largest state by far, it's more than twice as big as Texas, which is the next largest state. It's uh, a state where we have a lot of, uh, of oil reserves. We have a lot of uh, uh, natural resources and uh, a lot of uh, animals, plants, and, and whatnot that are unique to Alaska. Uh, Alaska is uh, the place where we have uh, Mount McKinley or Denali Peak, which is the highest point in North America by far, over 20,000 feet above sea level. And it's a great place to go on vacation. I can recommend it personally. I've been there. Alaska. Then Hawaii down here, right here, very mild weather. I mean, Alaska, you know, is cold. Hawaii is going to be warm. It's going to be very mild here in the ocean. You've got a set of islands out there formed by volcanoes. And that's the Hawaiian Islands. Okay, so what we're going to do now is move from this map over to this map and talk to you a little bit about the major areas in the country and some of the mountain ranges. So we'll start over here with the Northeast, talk about that. Talk about the Northeast is one of the older sections of our country in terms of our development. We did a lot of our fighting against the British there and developed our independence in the Northeastern part of the country. Places like New York, Boston, Philadelphia are in the Northeast. Very cold winters there, as are in the Midwest, which is this kind of north central part of the country here, going from the Great Lakes, mostly west, a little bit south, across here. The Midwest has a lot of very rich soil, so we do a lot of feeding of ourselves and other countries by growing crops, growing food, and so forth. A lot of good farmland here in the Midwest. Okay, another area of the country that we're very familiar with is, is the southeast. Warm and humid down here, generally. Very warm and humid. Florida, Georgia, the Carolinas, Alabama, that area. Okay, the southeast. Moving west, you've got what they call the southwest. Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, very dry. Hot, but very dry there. So you've got a lot of desert area here. A lot of cactus and, and desert area. The terrain looks very different from what it does where we are. Even though the weather is hot, it's very dry. And then the far west here has got very mild temperatures. It's made mild by the Japanese current off the, in the Pacific Ocean here. It makes people who live in California, Oregon, and Washington not as cold as they otherwise would be. Very temperate climate there. Now, just want to talk to you about mountain ranges a little bit. I think a lot of you have traveled in the Appalachian Mountains here in the eastern part of the United States. And they're pretty big mountains, certainly by Florida standards they are, but the Rockies are much, much bigger than the Appalachians, and they run up and down here, the big Rocky Mountains. And there's yet another set of mountains over here in the far west called the Cascades up here, the Sierra Nevadas down here, and they have some pretty high mountains in them too. Mount Whitney is in the Sierras, and Mount Whitney was the highest mountain in the country before we added Alaska. So it's the highest mountain in the lower 48, and only about an hour's drive from Mount Whitney is Death Valley, which is the lowest point in the lower in the in uh, the country. So uh, Mount Whitney and Death Valley are located right here. Also, the other thing I point out is this is really a high desert area here between the Rockies and the Sierras. That's a pretty open open area, not real settled, but very high desert area. 